masterpiece. What's the best on it, then? It'd be £900. Um, 900 quid. 900 pounds. I love it. OK, thank you very much. It, it's ridiculously exciting. Have we found something really valuable? Yes. Have we found something really rare? Hell yes. Am I ridiculously excited? Yes, I am. What a thing. It is rare to find things like that. It doesn't happen every day. Boom, get in. Absolutely astounding. These look interesting. The 19th century. These are ceramic. Plaques, I think, on the side, are they? Yes. Why the letters? What, what's, what's the that? library bookcases, so there oh. would have been a huge run of them, probably 12 of them. I mean, they're 1850, what can you do before I go? 1500 for the pair. Mm. Can you sweeten it a bit and 1400 quid and I'll buy them? I'll have to make a call. OK. Just to make myself feel better a bit. Yeah. So. OK. Another thing we find here a pair of low ebonized open bookcases with painted ceramic exotic bird relief adjustable shelves enameled letters on them great okay i'll let them know 14's fine he says well let's have them okay 1400 pounds for the pair look there's money to be made let's not be daft they're great either side of a doorway either side of a fireplace Really, really usable. I think we've done everywhere. Do you want to start packing everything away? Yeah, Have you got some sure. people to help? Yeah, 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 yeah. Won't be long. We were buying from the minute we walked through the door, you know, buying those wonderful Regency bed steps through to paintings. And there's still more. I could spend hours here. It's, it's a brilliant trade call. It's one of those places that really you need to be coming to almost every day. While we've been here, but there's been two or three dealers unloading fresh stock. It's a cracking antique centre. Then we had one remarkable find. Something that you just don't, you don't pick these things up every day. You really, really don't. Really unusual. Today was great. Drew seems to have bought really well. We're really pleased with what we've sold him. I'm guessing that our tenants are going to be happy with the results. And, uh, yeah, it's a fantastic day, had by all. Uh, thank you, mate. Much appreciated. Cheers. We'll, we'll see you again. Thanks very much for today. All right, cheers. See you again. Bye, Bye now. Bye. Look after yourself. Cheers. Bye. Well, that Newark Antique Centre could not have been better. No, I think you did very well there. That was good, wasn't it? It was. But to walk away with that mirror, what a find. Bar the paint on it and the minor losses, it is utterly untouched. If you took the paint off, right, it's never had anything done to it. The mirror plate has never been out. It's an incredibly rare find, and it's worth an awful lot more than we paid for it. Oh, and good. do you know why? The Staffordshire studio of restorer and gilder, Ruth Tappin. Right, so Drew has sent this mirror over to me. I'm quite excited because this is really early. This mirror's 300 years old. There's some beautiful elements on it. It's a gilt wood mirror, so that means it's been carved, gessoed and then gilded. But unfortunately, somebody's painted over it. And I think that might be to disguise some of these repairs and losses. Under the paint, there should be a layer of 24 karat gold leaf on a chalk-based primer known as gesso. So when I take this paint off, hopefully there's going to be some original gilding under there. Right, so I've got some paint stripper and a toothbrush. The toothbrushes don't damage your gums, and they, so they won't, they won't really damage this, hopefully. So if there's any original gilding, we should find it. I'm just really, really gently rubbing this in because this gesso that sat on the top of the wood is a bit loose in places. And that gesso is about 300 years old. I don't want to lose any of it. I can see some gold. Oh, I can't wait. I've got to have a look. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. That is amazing. I've got to be really gentle around here because this is where the gesso is falling off. You can see how it's sort of crazing here. I can't believe it. Look at that gilding. It's so... I can't tell you how rare it is to find gilding like this underneath. 
I think this is the second time in my career this has happened. That's how rare it is, and I've been doing this for 20 years. 200 years old, and look how good that gilding is. Oh, that is so satisfying. Look at that. But removing the unwanted paint has also revealed patches where the original gold leaf is missing. This must now be restored using the ancient art of water gilding, first used by the Egyptians over 4,000 years ago. You know, I've got to be at the top of my game for this. Um, these are tiny, tiny little repairs, but they need to be millimetre accurate, if not more accurate, because when the gold's this good, any tiny little error, it'll show up and it'll scream at you. So this is the gold leaf. It's 23.75 carat. It's nearly pure gold. Um, it's a beautiful colour and it's what this would have been gilded with originally. It's very, very fine. If I breathe on this, it's going to blow away. So I really need to breathe out of my ears and I'm, I'm trying not to talk at it. See, there you go, I just moved and the gold moved. So you can use your breath to try and flatten it back out, but you can see how thin it is. So it's called water gilding because this is water. It's got a tiny bit of alcohol and a tiny bit of rabbit skin glue, but the majority of that is water. Because it's got a lot of alcohol in, it evaporates quickly which is what you want, but you need to make sure it's soaked every time. I'm going to get some dry cotton wool. And I've got to press these creases out and any air bubbles. This is really delicate, this end section, so I'm going to support it from underneath. And just pat it down. After 26 hours of painstaking work, Ruth has confirmed Drew's informed guess about this mirror's rarity. Restored to its original radiant condition, it can now be clearly dated to the early 18th century. I don't want this to look too new. The gold is really clean, and you wouldn't really expect that on a 300-year-old mirror. This has been treated so well. So I've got to leave some age with this piece. He can genuinely say it's all original gilding. Um, there's going to be a few little p repairs, but basically this is as was 300 years ago. He's very, very lucky. He had quite a good eye buying this. <laughs>